All right, now we're going to put the front tire on our scooter. Just want to grab your tire off from the side. First thing you want to look in here is look in your brake caliper, and there's always a little piece of plastic in there. Just make sure you get that out. Sometimes you need to take it right out with a screwdriver. Just take that piece of plastic out. It's just to make sure that doesn't get pinched up in shipping. All right. Sometimes the piece is broken off, and it's just a little shim in there. Just make sure you look in there. Make sure there's nothing in there, and you're good to go. You need a 12 and a 14 millimeter wrench for this, and your Loctite. You're going to get your nut out of the bag that you had, and then when you uncrate the scooter, you have your center bolt and your spacer. In order to put the tire on, the spacer goes on the disc brake side. Put your little spacer in, okay? And it just slides in, it's not going to stick in, just slides in there. Start sliding your tire back into position. What I'd like to do is just start the bolt on this side, so I have it there, and just let it set in there. I'll take this tire, slide it up into position. Make sure that disc goes into the disc brakes. Make sure your washer's in there lined up right. And then you can start sliding your bolt in. I'll slide in about that far just to hold that in place. Then we're going to come over on this side. And this is your speedometer cable. This needs to get seated in your tire. So there's two little metal clips in it that need to get positioned make sure they go in between these spaces here. So you might have to spin the tire a little bit to get it to do that. There you go, it'll slide right on. And then we're going to turn the wheel. Come to the front once here, Dave. Let's show me. When I slid this wheel in here, if you look down here, it's kind of tough because this is all black, but there's a little uh, nub here on the end of your uh, shock. It just needs to set in that little chamber where the speedometer cable is. All right, so we got our nubs lined up here. Just tap it through a little bit. Make sure that comes through all the way. Make sure you get some Loctite on this. Ahead and tighten it down. Make sure you want to get this good and snug when you put this front wheel on. Okay, so the front wheel's on. Our next step is putting our uh, front fender on. You notice it's got these two screws in there. You actually need to take these two little screws out on the sides. And they're going to be ones that similar to our front cow. They're going to have little rubber bushings on. Grab our front fender. You notice it's got two little uh, slots in the front here. Underneath here, there's two little metal slots. One here and one here. So all you're going to do is lift this up and tuck that on top of those two. Slide it over here, so I'm going to go ahead and put my screw in this side. Up, just make sure it's in my grooves there. Just 
install this side. So we got our front cowl on, we've got our front fender on. Next thing we do, we go ahead and install the mirrors. The mirrors are fairly simple, it's a 14 millimeter wrench. Just put a little Loctite on. Feed them in the holes here and just start screwing them down. Make sure that this is all the way up, so then you can tighten it down once you get the mirror in. Spin it down in there. Just get it snugged up some, you don't have to overly tighten it. Then we're going to take a 14 millimeter and just tighten this down. Get that side done. Here. Well, this is a good example. This mirror here is cracked. If that happens, you just call us up and we'll ship you out another mirror. It's no problem at all. Doesn't happen very often, but if it does, we'll be glad to take care of it for you. Snug this mirror down. Slide our bushings down on them. And that's done. Next step we're going to do is install the back plate. If you look in your bag that came with the scooter, your three remoting bolts are Allen key bolts. One long one, two short ones. So you want to grab your Allen wrench, your rear trunk mat, or your rear trunk stand, and it's going to set right back here. Okay. The long one's going to go in the back, the two shorter ones are going to go in the front. I'm going to throw a little bit of Loctite on these. Make sure you hand start these bolts, make sure they're lined up properly. And you're going to go ahead and tighten these down. I'm going to cheat because I'm going to use my drill gun, but just take an Allen wrench and tighten these down. Alright, so our backrest is on, or our back uh, stand is on. Alright, the, just the last step, if you choose to put it on there, is the trunk. Uh, they do come with trunks. All you do is just line up your four bolts to the bottom of the trunk. All the hardware is in the, back, in the trunk itself, and you just attach your trunk on the back. And that's pretty simple to do. But that's the assembly of the uh, ATM 50 Tau Tau scooter. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We'll help you out any way we possibly can. Uh, just don't forget, you still need to prep it, you need to change the oil on it, so you can watch one of our videos on those and how to do that also. So thanks.